Great Stephen Jay Gould, the late Great Stephen Jay Gould, said that he believed they were non-overlapping magisteria. You can be both a believer and a person of faith. Sitting in front of me is a very distinguished, extremely distinguished scholar, Francis Collins, helped us to unlock the human genome project, who is himself a believer. Here's why I, a non-scientist, um, a non-scientist, uh, will say that I think it's radically irreconcilable, I'd rather say than incompatible. I've taken the best advice I can on how long Homo sapiens has been on the planet. Carl Sagan, Richard Dawkins, many others reckon it's not more than 250,000 years, quarter of a million years. It's not less either. I think it's roughly accepted. 100,000 is the lowest I've heard. And actually, I was about to say, again, not to sound too Jewish, I'll take 100,000. Um, I only need 100,000. Call it 100. For 100,000 years, Homo sapiens was born, usually, well, not usually, but very often, dying in the process or killing its mother in the process. A life expectancy, probably not much more than 20, 25 years. Dying probably of the teeth uh, after that, very agonizingly, years the brain as they are, um, or of hunger, or of microorganisms that they didn't know existed, or of uh, events such as volcanic or tsunami uh, or earthquake uh, types that would have been wholly terrifying and mysterious, as well as some turf wars over women, land, property, food, other matters. So you can fill in, imagine it for yourself, what the first a few tens of thousands of years were like. Um, according to the Christian faith, 